Welcome back. In the previous video, we have learned how to create a NE555 schematic symbol and SOP8 footprint. In this video, we will learn how to bind a 3D model to it. There is a 3D model text box in the right panel. Click to get into the 3D model manager. Because the footprint we create is SOP8, so we can search for SOP8 directly. You can choose a 3D model between different library, workspace, LCSC library, and user contributed. Here I recommend choosing the LCSC library. There are many 3D models of SOP8 with different size. The detail size of NE555 is provided to us in the datasheet. The length is about 4.9, and the width is about 6.0. Height is about 1.75. We can choose a model close to the size of NE555. Oh, this one. Click to bind. Here is a preview. Click update. After the update is complete, the footprint is bound to the 3D model we just selected. In future development, we can directly use the footprint with 3D model. Ctrl S to save. Update the schematic symbols footprint. Double click. Successfully updated. Next, I will demonstrate how to add a 3D model to the 3D model manager. Click File, New, 3D Model. Select a model unit that matches your 3D model file. Click Help here. This is a tutorial on how to bind 3D models. EasyEDA currently supports WRL and OBJ files. After joining the model with 3D modeling software, you can export these two formats to import EasyEDA. Or you can download the 3D model on these websites. This document explains the detailed process of importing 3D models into EasyEDA. EasyEDA is developing 3D model export and simple 3D model modeling functions, and it will be online soon. See you next video. Goodbye.